Missouri woman conspires to kill mom is now being released from prison after serving seven of the 10 year sentence that was given to her for second degree murder. But as we go into the details of this story, it takes a twist because throughout her adolescence, Gypsy Rose Blanchard was medically abused as a child. Her mom made false claims about her having asthma, leukemia, and muscle dystrophy so she can run a medical scheme basically on her daughter. Gypsy Rose's mom, aka Dee Dee, also made claims that her daughter was mentally ill, said she had the mental capacity of a five-year-old. Her daughter was also confined to a wheelchair every single day and also forced to eat through a feeding tube. This is a horrendous story all the way around. I'm gonna play this clip and we'll come back. Gypsy Rose Blanchard, a Missouri teen convicted of orchestrating her medically abusive mom's murder in 2015, is set to be freed from prison today after serving eight years behind bars. Blanchard, now 32, was the subject of a bizarre media frenzy that spawned numerous documentaries and a Hulu series after she ordered her online boyfriend, Nicholas Gottajan, to stab her 48-year-old mother, Claudine Dee Dee Blanchard, to death. The teen is believed to have suffered one of the highest profile cases of Munchausen syndrome where her mom's insistence that she suffered various made-up illnesses led her to undergo painful surgeries and take medications with adverse side effects. Wow, what a crazy situation all the way around. Imagine being a child looking up to somebody for provisions, protections, and guidance, right? And you get the complete opposite. Well, this is the situation with Gypsy Rose. Her mom wasn't mentally stable, seemed like from this whole situation, and she took advantage of her daughter, loving and believing in her, and it got to a point where she got older and realized things wasn't right, and she took the matters in her own hand when she concocted this plan with her ex-boyfriend. The plan was to have her ex-boyfriend kill her mom, so basically she can get away, right? This whole situation had so many red flags in it anyway, because number one, the medical team, the medical staff, how are you giving the mom medicine and treating a child that didn't have leukemia because she was being treated for cancer or performing surgeries on this young girl, giving her medication for her mental stability when she didn't need it, or even having her eat through a feeding tube when nothing generally was wrong with her in this situation. So all around, I feel bad about what happened, but y'all comment down below, what do you think about this situation? Is Gypsy Rose wrong for trying to get away from her mom? Does she deserve to do the seven years that she did? Or should she done some more time? But this situation has me baffled.